Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Democracy Free Africa and South Africa it's for that. Gender Discrimination Act, Family Planning. Hmm. Does education not affect gender equality? Yeah. That's ticking in. But GDP. Uh, economy type. A measure of the type of your country's economy. Economies can be said to be made up of three sectors. As goods become more... I don't get how this is picking the type. It doesn't tell me what type it is. Uncompetitive economy. Still productivity. I need to improve productivity. Unemployment is basically pinned. How is that affecting anything? Just improve productivity. Okay, let's in this turn try and find something to do with... Right, there was lots of things that the 50 I could do, but I can't remember what they are now. Regional. Integrate, integration and tariffs. Harmonize business and politics practices between beyond our own country's borders. Fuel subsidies, economy. I need to find a way. I think technology grants will actually help with. Yeah. Capitalists love it. Productivity, yeah, goes up. GDP goes up. Technology goes up. Unemployment goes down. Religious membership goes down. The people don't like robot grants. Small business grants. They don't like it, but I'm going to introduce robot grants. Robot grants decreases unemployment, but the trade unionists don't like it. All right, over two turns, it decreases unemployment. Over 20 turns, it'll increase it. I need the productivity. <coughs> I think I've got unemployment pinned. So I'm going to work under this. Dear God, that was easy. Alright, tax. Marriage tax. This is a tax break for ma oh, for married couples. Okay, yeah, not a married tax, a married tax allowance. The Enterprise Investment Scheme is a system which gives tax breaks to wealthy individuals who invest now. It costs nothing and people like it, so let's do it. The Patriots hate it, but no, international trade, foreign investment, tourism, youth, capitalist education, just generally education for that little amount of money. Nothing else I can really do this turn. We still have a surplus. GMM food. I'm okay with GMM food in general. Health is up, education is still going up, just not as quick as it did last time. They, these are still pinned. Despite, oh, actually, no, yeah, that's going to, the robots is going to keep it down a bit to start with, and then I'm going to have to fight against it. But, 
to me, there's there's a lot more fighting against it. I, I think we could still maybe keep that pinned. Health is on the way up as well. And GDP is going up. How does that compare to the global economy? The surplus is basically gone. Oh, there's a, a celebrity died in prison. I can't clamp down on protests because I allow everything. Uh, so launch the inquiry. Somebody died in a prison, generally speaking. Maybe not a public inquir inquir inquiry, uh, but if somebody dies in a prison, I would like to know why. <laughs> economy forecast. The good news, the global economy is doing well. Actually, it isn't. It is going down. Uh, our debt is going down. Our expenditure has shot up. That's a space program. <laughs> uh, but our income isn't going up. I thought the GDP would have actually have gone up a bit. The capitalists are liking me a bit more. Religious group has gone down a fair bit. Conservatives don't like me as much anymore, but I think their group size has gone down as well. All right, I don't want to spend money. Um, pollution. It's on the way down, but the only way I can affect that is by increasing the environment. Nature conservation is coming. Clean energy subsidies is coming. Yeah, let's let's try and do something for the environment. Which I think is going to be pollution controls. Which does hurt GDP. Capitalists kill CO2 emissions, really helps the environment. I think, actually, the pollution controls, despite affecting the GDP, by getting rid of the pollution, uh, GDP will go up. People really don't like organ donation. I have a feeling, yeah, it helps health. Religious hate you, they already hate me, so I don't care. <laughs> I don't like you because you don't like me. You can get all the way up to 54, so I don't, I can, I'm happy to say, but. Uh, curiosity, are you guys. Capitalist and ethnic minorities. Hmm, I would have thought ethnic minorities would have been okay with me. Economy minister. Okay, let's find a new one. Environmentalist and woman. Yep, okay. And I'm willing to save up because we've got room for it. Unemployment is up. A scientific discovery. Hmm... Oh, Robot Grant is currently bad for the... Huh. 83%. Yeah, we have lots of activists now. Yeah, the other party's basically dead. Oh no, the, the other party actually still has twice the membership we do. We're running a surplus, okay. Airline tax. Air fuel has... Actually, I think I'm going to introduce an airline tax. We're pinned on things like tourism and stuff like that. That's a good chunk of money. I thought he's hurting the GDP. Ah, screw it. It's in. I'm hoping that race tension is basically a nil.
tourism is pinned high. I think we can hopefully get away with having the tax and still get people to come. Nobody cheers as loud for you as those people who have been raised out of poverty. GDP is going up despite the things I did. Oh, wait. Technological advantage. Nuclear test ban treaty. Of course, sign it. Education is going up. Health is going up. Unemployment. A stage study. I don't know whether we can actually fight against the... Um, fight against the robots. I, I don't know whether I should have paid for the robots, but the GDP is going up. Despite the things I've done which should theoretically hurt them, so... Oh no, our party is now bigger. <laughs> ah, do you know one thing that I forgot about from when I stopped doing the Let's Plays and started a game? When I moved from my, my recording place into a permanent place, instead at one point I was actually jumping back and forth in different places, um, recording wherever I could. Uh, originally I had a chair which was just the computer chair from downstairs. Uh, and then I, I got a new one. And I got one... I had a choice of spending, I think it was 80 or 40 quid. The 40 quid, the 80 quid one looked really comfy, but the 80 quid one said like it was, oh, it was ergonomic and stuff. I'm like, well, it might not look as comfy, but it, it must be. You know, ergonomic design and stuff, I think... I'll, I'll, I sold myself on the idea. Also, my mum had actually given me 40 quid towards the chair, and I sort of thought, well, this way my mum's bought it for me completely. It's like, you know, it, I can tell her that the chair was a gift. You know, not she helped towards it. It, it was something she got me, something I'm going to use a lot. And you know, I have the unfortunate thing that the arms are annoying as all fucking flimsy. Duck. Annoying as all duck, I said. And it's uncomfy as all hell. Also, the back won't stay in the upright, in the, in the ergonomic position. It constantly slides down as an uncomfy. <laughs> I forgot how uncomfy this goddamn chair is. <laughs> Why am I moaning about this during the Let's Play? Um, let me know in the comments, guys, whether you think um, I should buy a new chair. Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.